And then the other thing is that Mary Odile's home was invaded. And this is purely because we are in a government that, de that is determined to have all the oil producing states as a state that they govern. If not, when the judgment was given, for instance, when the election was held in Bayelsa and it was, uh, INEC said that it was won by APC. I don't remember PDP people uh, holding a protest and burning Bayelsa down. I don't remember when the judgment was given against a sitting governor. Uh, Governor Mecca Idioha, when Hope Uzo Dimma was declared the winner and by Kudriat Kekere Ekun, who is a Muslim, and she, her home was not invaded when it was, the government was taken from PDP and given to APC. She lives in Abuja. Why will Mary, uh, uh, Peter Odili's uh, uh, home be invaded? What type of uh, 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 law allows that to, uh, to, uh, to happen? Her life is at risk. Her life is, is under threat as far as I am concerned. And so it should concern us in the Niger Delta that this would happen to somebody who is from uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the southeast. She's from Mbaise, she's from Imo State. And she's married to a former governor of River State. And she's a justice of the law, a co of, of, uh, of our judiciary, by right of study. And why would her home be invaded? Because a political party is angry of a judgment that was read by her, that was a unanimous judge uh, judgment of uh, five or so uh, judges. Just the same way, the same judgment, the similar judgment was read by another female justice who is from another part of Nigeria, from another religion. Part of the utterances of Adam Soshomole, Bayasa was set on fire for two days running. A, a library that was built privately to enhance uh, the education of Bayelsa people by uh, Steve, uh, Professor Steve Azaiki, who is now in, uh, in the Senate or uh, uh, House of Rep, was completely burnt down, not by strangers, but by a few Bayelsa people who claimed to be uh, uh, members of, uh, of Adam Soshomole's party, based on the violent utterances that Adam Soshomole released on the day of the judgment. If APC is fond of saying, they are fond of saying, if you don't like it, go to court. If they don't like it, they should go to court. If they don't like the judgment, they should go to court. They came to attempt the same thing. Actually, it was only God that saved us in River State. My, uh, my own community was, was, was literally set on fire. We couldn't, my people couldn't even vote. I voted here in Potako. My people couldn't even vote at the presidential election. People were killed. Why? Because uh, somebody somewhere sitting in Abuja, somebody who is not even from my community, from River State, he, that doesn't even have a, a, a candidate of his own party, decides that somebody uh, from, from wherever he brings the person must win election in River State and that uh, Akukutoro and Abonima must be seen to be voting for uh, for, uh, for President uh, Buari. Did, did President Buari come to campaign in Abonima that people are going to vote for him uh, in, uh, in Abonima? So this, this, this is up to us. This is up to us. We have to protect ourselves. It is our right. It was what he said. It was what he said that incited incited all that violence in uh, in Bayasa. It was what he said because once he said that thing, it was the red light for uh, for people to know that they can do anything and nothing and nothing will happen because this is uh, this is federal might. Federal might is not only when there is election and they bring the military. Federal might is uh, is when. 
in the in the seat of power in Abuja where there is federal might, a justice, one justice, were amongst a, a panel would read a judgment or of unanimous decision, and this woman will now be a target. This lady doing her job will now be a target. And whereas another lady did exactly the same thing about a month ago that removed a sitting governor who was sworn in within hours. Within hours, this man had to leave a government house that he had been sitting in for, for about six or seven months. And you can imagine how, how uncomfortable that would be to move within hours, move out of the place. And yet nobody invaded her house. Do they have two heads, these people? Do they have two heads? It, it, it is highly... De I don't even know what the judges and the justices and the lawyers of the Federal uh, Republic or whatever that is from this region. I don't know what they are still doing. The, the, uh, the, uh, the senators and the House of Rep members, I don't know what they are doing. The, if, if they don't sit, if they refuse to sit as a protest, what will happen? Nothing will happen. They should stop being cowards. They should stop being cowards. They should stop being cowards. It is just a spirit. They should people should rise up and be bold and say what is right and and stand by what is right for crying out loud to stand by what is right and say what is right. Nobody has two heads. The, all the things happening in Nigeria today, Jonathan did could never have dared it, even if he had wanted to, which he didn't. He would never. It is even the Niger Delta people that will shout on his head and tell him he cannot do this thing.